Pets on social media are nothing new. But these pets have TikTok followings curious about their origins. That's because Phoenix the dog and Belle the cat are both clones of their owner's previous pets. Everywhere else people just, you know, they're just pictures. So it's just another cat on the internet. Um, on TikTok you can kind of tell a story or, you know, share information about cloning in ways that you can't elsewhere. Kelly Anderson says her late cat Chai was popular on Instagram. But when Chai died unexpectedly, grief prevented her from keeping up with social media and many followers dropped off. Four years later, Chai's clone took to TikTok as Belle the Clone Kitty, where Anderson shares interesting facts about her replica pet. But she insists she didn't clone Chai for followers. People love their pets in all different kinds of ways. And I think that people who clone their pets aren't doing it because they want to carry on their social media legacy or for really any other reason except for love. My dogs are my whole life, so obviously I try to keep them as happy as possible. And I've also gotten a lot of people be like, oh my gosh, you cloned your dog for social media and like, which is actually not true at all because I didn't have a social media, like a big following with Willow when I had her. Courtney Udvar Hazy also says she cloned her wolf dog Willow because she was grieving, not because she wanted to be TikTok famous. She also lost Willow suddenly, and when the opportunity arose to clone her beloved dog, she took it. That was just like a personal thing for me in my heart, my dog, me and me and the dogs, and what was right for me. But the social media thing took off really after Phoenix, after doing this cloning thing. That's when it took off. Now Phoenix and all the other clones that were produced from Willow have nearly a million followers on TikTok where they get adorable content and an education. And I kind of felt this like need to like try to keep up with it and educate people on this breed of wolf dog and that, you know, they're not a dog you might want to get just because they look cool. Um, and also um, talk about the cloning experience. While both women say they understand the controversial nature of pet cloning, they also can't deny the interest people have in their pets. A comforting thought to know that your beloved pet doesn't have to be gone for good. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Mara Montalbano.